Hi, welcome back to Mr. Stewart's lessons. Today, we're going to start working with sound. I'm going to give two sound lessons. This is going to be the basic one, and it's just going to be about including and uh, playing basic sound. So the first hard part, actually, about including sounds is actually finding good sounds to put in your game, which are actually is actually not necessarily so easy. It's even harder than finding good images. Um, so I'm actually going to show you a couple places you can look uh, to find sounds that might be useful. Um, one is uh, soundboard.com, um, which uh, you can see right here, soundboard.com. Um, you have to pay for the sounds there, but honestly, they're really pretty cheap. Uh, mostly they're like 99 cents for a sound, so why not? Uh, pay 99 cents if it's a good sound that works, um, but you can find free sounds. You just have to look a little bit harder. Um, I'm not going to use a sound a so, uh, sound from Soundboard today, just because I'm going to be giving you the sound away for free, and uh, it doesn't seem uh, fair in terms of copyright to buy a sound and then give it to everybody away for free. So I've downloaded a free sound, uh, one of the free sounds. The other sound that I've downloaded, which is the background music, I'm going to use. Um, I got from some place called freemusicarchive.org um, and freemusicarchive.org is kind of cool um, because uh, if you go there um, they actually if you look at their uh, terms down at the bottom and this is, this is something you should pay, pay attention to if you're making your own game you'll notice in their terms of root use they tell you tell you that uh, public that you can um, uh, you can use it um, they're public, you can um, put it in any kind of, um, where is it, uh, categories of use. Um, uh, you can put it in audio, video files, written descriptions, and so on, which means I can actually share this one with you. Um, this The other sound I'm going to use, which is going to be my background music. Um, that's just a couple places, certainly not the only place. Um, the first uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in um, uh, background sound. Now, um, uh, I mean a background music. Now, inside your uh, lesson here, you'll notice we already you probably already familiar with the images file. There's also a sound file, right? And sounds uh, folder. Sorry, a sound folder is where all your sounds are. I've gotten I've got two in here. This uh, go to eighty. This is from an artist called Go to eighty, and it's a uh, uh, this is an MP3 um, file, uh, which is going to be my background music. Um, this is uh, from Free Music Archive, and I downloaded it there. They have a bazillion things. That if you look in the ones called Chip Tunes, there's some great background music that you can use there, and this is uh, listed as free for use. And then I also have um, a Mouse Squeak, which is a free file that I just downloaded from the internet, which. Uh, actually doesn't it's what it's a real mouse squeak rather than sort of a fake cartoon mouse squeak which is kind of weird it's not really what you expect mice to sound like but that's all right um, so what I'm gonna do first let's put in some background music so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna create I'm gonna go on my world you can play the music from your world or you can play it from your actor I'm gonna play it from my world because that seems uh, sort of the more basic part of the game so what I need to do just as you remember, we created a Greenfoot image file when we wanted to create our put in an image. Um, uh, we're going to create a Greenfoot sound file. So I'm going to say Greenfoot sound my music. Okay, so this is creating a variable equals new Greenfoot sound. Okay, now in here. Uh, is going to be inside my parentheses, inside my quotes, is going to be actually the name of the file. So I'm just going to copy and paste it from my folder. So this this file, I would have already, you're, and if you go to my uh, Mr. Stewart's lessons and go to the download uh, uh, and, and download the demo for this lesson, lesson 19, you're going to find the, um, the that this uh, uh, sound will already be in there, but uh, if you download your own sound, all you have to do is drag it into this sounds folder inside your um, the folder that contains your lesson. So I'm going to copy this sound, uh, the name here, okay, and uh, I'm going to paste it here. 
and I know it's an mp3 file so I'm gonna do dot mp3 so this is my sound right this is my right this is the name of the file and inside my new green foot sound so now I've created the sound um, and now all I want to do is I want to make it play right while the music is going um, I can put it in the prepare but that's actually not very good because then it starts playing even before the game starts playing so I want to I'm gonna make an act method in my uh, world so um, Right now, all I've done is I've created this this Greenfoot sound, my this Greenfoot sound, this variable called my music, and it's a new Greenfoot sound. And this is a file that I've downloaded and placed in my sound folder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an act method to play this. So I'll say public void act, and it's so simple. All I have to do the variable as I said that I created before is called my music so I'm gonna say my music which is my variable period and then I'm gonna do control space and because it's a green foot sound I can do anything that a green foot sound can do which in this case uh, is going to be play uh, you can put play or play loop um, actually since it's in the act method it's going to keep calling the, the the play loop and play is going to do exactly the same thing. Um, the way the play method works is it's going to every time it's um, the every turn it's going to call up the sound and try and play it. But if the sound's already playing, it won't play it on top of each other. It'll just play it once. So uh, this mymusic.play, if you just put it inside the act method, it will just keep it playing over and over again. Um, and so play loop and play actually in this inside the act method are going to do the exact same thing. So I'm going to do close and I'll compile it and we'll see what's going to happen. There's my music. La, 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 la. So I have music playing while my uh, mouse is moving around. A um, little bit annoying, it keeps playing after you press pause, but if you want it to stop, you can just press compile again and it'll stop playing. Um, so now I would like to, uh, I'd like to do one more thing. I'd like my mouse to pick up some cheese and I'd like him to squeak when he gets the cheese, right? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some cheese in there. And uh, I already have a cheese.gif image, but you should be able to find one pretty easily by searching on the internet. And I'll call it cheese. And I'll compile that. And I'm just going to put some cheese around the maze here for the mouse, mouse to find. Pretty soon we're going to find a cat to catch him before he gets the cheese, but uh, we haven't got to that part. Let's put in the make it easy to begin with. So uh, he's got some cheese here. And uh, so, um, so now, and I'm just going to do save the world. So all this cheese is already in there. Uh, so what we're going to do is we want the mouse to pick up the cheese when he gets it, and we want him to squeak when he gets some cheese. So I'm going to double click on the mouse, okay? And uh, we're going to do something that we've already done before. So um, this is this this should be something you've already seen. Um, so I'm going to do it quickly. I'm going to do uh, actor cheese equals, and this is inside. Sorry, this is inside the act method of the mouse at the end of the act method. Actor cheese equals, and we'll use get one intersecting object. This should be pretty familiar to you guys by now if you've been following along with my lesson. And we'll call it cheese dot class, right? This just getting the uh, trying to grab a cheese if we're on top of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, if you probably know how what happens next, cheese not equal null. Well, then that means we need to. Uh, First, we want to take the cheese out, so we need to get the world. World my world equals. Oops. Get world right, and then we'll do my world, and we'll do remove object 
cheese. You should be familiar with this. And now all we have to do is we want we've um, we're we're going to uh, uh, we're going to create a sound. Okay. Um, the other sound that I have here is my is mouse squeak. This is a wave file dot wav type file. We can play dot mp3 or dot w a V or dot A I F F as far as I know there might be others that you can use as well. So I'm gonna say um, squeak. I'm gonna make a uh, variable called squeak equals um, uh, new mousequeak.wav, which was the name of the file. Um, you can see up here, mousequeak, make sure, be careful with your file names, make sure you get it right. And I'll go down here, and after myworld.remove object, I'll say mousequeak dot, and, oops, I'm sorry, it's just called squeak. Squeak.play. In this case, you definitely don't want to play play loop, or he'll just keep squeaking over and over and over again. And then I'm going to press close, and I'll compile it. And you can hear him. That's actually a real mouse sound, by the way, not just a cartoon mouse. I guess this is what mice really sound like. I downloaded it from some animal website about where mice really sound like. And we'll pause it, and if we want to stop the music again, we can press compile. You're probably thinking, boy, that music could get really annoying. It'd be nice to have a pause button and a way to stop the music if I don't want it to play. And in fact, there is going to be that in my next lesson where I'm going to do some more advanced things with the Greenfoot sound. I will see you then.